Hello, Mr. Sinclair. Mum says hi. It's much more relaxing here, eh? Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. Just a pity that's a tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. <laughs> New money just ain't got the style of the classics like you and me. Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. <laughs> and I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint-Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> if only some kind soul would help an old man out, I could raise everyone's spirits. Or oh, we could keep it to ourselves, eh? <laughs> Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special. That'll make those mealy-mouthed, undead bastards slither back into their graves. So, I get the quality booze, bring it back, we drink said booze, whilst you show off your impressive weapon. No giggling in the back row. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed. Drinks. Good company. And some excitement. What more could I need? If this were my gaff, would I keep hard killing single mort in the cellar? Sports room? Bedside. Table? Mouthwash bottle? <laughs> Not an auspicious clue. Couldn't have just hidden it in the shed, like everyone else.
course she'll have the key. Killing. Lovely. Wine cellar. Start at the bottom and work up. Et voilà, Uber Plonk. Get in. You there, kid? If you're still down at that modern mansion, look out for a cigar box. The finest Cuban. Gave them as a housewarming gift, and I got a hankering. Mr. Sinclair, even during a zompocalypse, I'm reticent about burglary. <laughs> then I'll sweeten the deal. Check their master bedroom, and you'll find a little something extra. All done. Mr. Sinclair, your order is being processed.
Usually, I only run errands for my mum. You're too good to me, kid. And don't let anyone say that Curtis Sinclair is not a man of his word. You take my rifle, Pete. And for the cigars, I'll throw in some ammunition to get you started. But Mr. Sinclair, your hands are neither cold nor dead. Old Peggy's done right by me over the years, but my joints can't handle her kickback no more. Treat her right, and she'll look after you, too. My mom is flipping angelic cartwheels right now. But what about you? Ah, uh, no need to worry about me, kid. They can try and bite me. My hide's tougher than a two-dollar steak. Besides, I can still handle a pistol just fine. I'll be all right with Peggy's little sister, Betty, on my hip. <laughs> You're not in a rush, are you? Keep an old... Old man company for a while. Thank you.